So I know I look really, really crazy right now, and I know you guys are probably wondering, like, what the fuck are you doing? What fucking drugs are you on that made you fuck up your face like this, and how could this possibly tie into the mermaid theme which this collab is? Before you guys judge me hardcore, because I know you're going to, let me just explain. Alright, so you guys all know I'm originally from South Florida, more specifically Boynton Beach. I was born and raised there. And growing up in South Florida honestly is a dream because you are literally living where people vacation. It's amazing. And every single day after school, doesn't matter what I was doing, whenever it came to what I wanted to do after school, I would always ask to go to the beach. And my grandmother, my abuelita, would always take us to the beach and then to docks. If you're from Delray or the Palm Beach County area born and raised, you know exactly what docks is. We go to the beach we go to the library and then we go to docks it was amazing I loved that routine I just I miss it so much because no matter what I was doing I would always end up on the beach and the beach is and always will be my happy place unfortunately we did move back up here to the Adirondacks in upstate New York and it's kind of hard to find an actual beach what they consider to be a beach here is actually just a lake shore with sand it's not a beach but I guess that's the way they see it here and let's be honest half these people have never actually been to a beach which breaks my mother fucking heart. So anyways, when Gigi came to me and asked me to do this collab with her, I was first of all very excited because Gigi, like I said, is a very close friend of mine here on YouTube. She was actually one of the first people who reached out to me and showed my channel so, so much love. She's always commenting, always sharing, always supporting me, and I just, I adore her for it. I love her quirky attitude. I love her personality. She's just literally perfection when it comes to someone who I consider to be like a close friend. Not to mention she's incredibly talented and her makeup collection is to die for. Which, by the way, I will have all of her social media links down below as well as her side of the video as well. So when Gigi said we're gonna do mermaid makeup looks, I was like, girl, yes! I was so excited because I have been always wanting to do a mermaid makeup look and today is finally the day, girl. So let me explain the look itself because it kind of tells the story that I'm actually telling you right now. This side of my face is the me that grew up in Palm Beach, that grew up in Delray, going to the beach every single day with a beautiful natural tan, bronze to the gods, highlighted to the gods, beautiful look. And then this side signifies the me that lives here in the Adirondacks in upstate New York near the border of Canada freezing my tits off. This side is the me that is a frostbitten mermaid, which sounds kind of weird, but that is the way I see myself because I know for a fact I belong on Palm Beach. I belong back home. I belong on the beach. I belong where the sea is, where the ocean is, where the ocean mist just splashes your face. The closest thing I have to that right now is spraying water into a fan and it blowing back into my face. That's the closest thing I have to an ocean mist and it fucking sucks. So yes, this is actually an expression piece, if you will, because like I said, it signifies the person that I was and the person that I am now, which I guess is not really a good thing if you think about it. In any case, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I made this into a voiceover just to cut this down a little bit because I know filming it took forever. And if I had gone through with this being a talk through, it would have gone even longer until what I'm sure would have been the second coming of Jesus himself, ladies. And I don't want to keep you here for that long. I know you got things to do, things to buy, shopping sprees to go on. I got you, girl. I get it. I understand you got better things to do. So, with that being said, I'm gonna get on out of here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to all of Gigi's social media. She's, like I said, a very, very close friend of mine here on YouTube. I love her so, so much. I love you guys so, so much. Bye. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So first of all, please excuse the two planets on my face. But the first thing we're going to do is put some white paint on one half of our face. Whatever side you want doesn't really matter. I think I'm doing my right side in this video. And I'm going to do a couple layers just because this paint really isn't the best. I mean, it looks like it's doing really well, but it's really, really streaky. And it takes a lot of blending in to make it build up any further. So all I'm doing is making sure that I'm going all the way down the neckline as well. You don't want to have two different colors on your face and your neck, especially for a look like this. And of course, remember to paint your ear as well. All right, so next we're going to take two glitter pigments. These are white glitter pigments from both e.l.f. and Wet n Wild. And all I'm doing is taking a really fluffy brush and blending them both into my face because I want this to look frosty. So I'm going to use, obviously, white glitter pigments to make that happen. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my face, the other half of my face at least, so I can do my entire foundation routine. This is what I do every single day when I'm getting ready to go out and do something for the day or just film. So all I'm gonna do is basically do my everyday get ready routine when it comes to makeup. I'm gonna obviously put primer, foundation, concealer, contour, all that jazz. So you're seeing me do all that right now. The only big difference between this routine and my regular makeup routine is the fact that I'm making my contour a lot darker. I'm going in with a full beat, full bronze look for today. So all I'm doing right now is setting the rest of my face using my Wet n Wild powder. And now I'm going to go back in with a contour shade. This is the Butter Bronzer from Visions Formula. And all I'm doing is bringing more color back to my face. I want this to be a very, very bronzed look. So she needs to be contoured to the gods with some bronzer as well. So now all I'm doing is my brows and getting those filled in so they don't look too bare. And now we're going to start the eyeshadow look. Excuse you, Nick Jesus. So I don't know why you see these little green screens here. I'm not sure what they mean, but I'm sorry they're interrupting this video. All I'm doing right now is blending a very light mid-tone brownish, like tannish shade into the crease. But I'm also picking up a nice bright reddish orange and bringing that into the crease as well. And of course, blending everything together. And then I'm going to go into my Moon Dust Palette from Urban Decay, and I'm applying the shade Element all over the lid. And then later on in this video, you're going to see me apply two more shades. I'm going to apply Lightyear and Vega to the bottom lash line and blend that all in. So as you can see, I decided to go with a really cute, like, dotted winged liner look just to make this look a little bit more dramatic, I guess you could say. Put some mascara on the lashes, and then I'm going to go back into my Moon Dust Palette. We're picking up Vega and putting that into the outside corner of the eye. All right, so now we're going to be using Liquid Latex and Fake Blood. Make sure to use a shirt and pair of pants you don't give a shit about as well as brushes liquid latex smells like a fistful of assholes not even trying to be funny but we are going to be putting it on our face to create the scarring and dead skin now luckily even though i live in the warmest part of antarctica i have never been frostbitten and i don't plan on being frostbitten ever in my life it looks really disgusting and it looks like it hurts but basically when your skin is frostbitten it's very very loose it's disgusting it's so splotchy and bloody in some places Basically, it's something you don't ever want to have to go through because it looks disgusting. But anyway, to recreate the frostbite look for the skin, we're going to start to pull the dry liquid latex just a little bit, not pull it completely off. We want it to have like little flaps of skin, like right there. It looks disgusting. Well, it will when we put the blood on there. Speaking of blood, I'm going to use it for this look, but you surely do not have to if you do not want to. But please don't think you have to do everything that I do in this video to make this look really cool. You can make it your own by doing whatever you want to it. But before we go into into the bloody part. We're going to go into this retro matte eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics and pick up a black and a green shade. It could be any variation of green that you would like to make it. It doesn't matter as long as it looks dead and moldy and disgusting. And then we're going to take the blood and start to splotch it on our face pretty much everywhere. Now again, if you don't want to use blood, you don't have to. You can totally skip out on it and just add more green and black just to make sure that it looks nasty and moldy. But what I would also do if you don't want to use actual fake blood is I would go in with a red eyeshadow, which I'm going to do in a couple minutes, and just go onto the spots underneath the flaps of skin to mimic the look of exposed skin. All I'm doing right now is taking a flat eyeshadow brush and a black matte eyeshadow and just adding some depth to these scabs to make them a little bit more realistic looking. And then I'm going to take a red pigment eyeshadow, and like I said, we're going to mimic the exposed skin that would come up underneath the actual dead skin. And we're going to go ahead and just put that pretty much everywhere. If you want to make this look a little bit more nasty, just continue to keep pulling off little pieces of that liquid latex and add extra flaps of skin, but just make sure to always add the exposed skin color underneath to make sure it looks realistic. All I'm doing right now is taking a dark purple and a dark blue and creating the bruising around the scabby areas and just making sure that it looks kind of like frosty and cold-ish looking, I guess. And now we're going to start to apply the blood. Now, if you are going to apply the blood, make sure that especially for the parts with the skin that's peeling from the top, make sure to pull a lot of the blood in there. If you use the same blood that I'm using right now, you will find that it actually mimics actual real blood beautifully. It's so so good and so convincing for any wound special effects makeup look. Alright, so all I'm doing right here is applying the same eyeshadows that we applied on the nice side of our face. I'm doing the same exact thing to our right side, the wounded side, except I'm just smudging everything out because obviously we got fucked up with this frostbite. And then 
then I'm going to apply some vein, do some more bruising, some more blood. I'm going to put my wonky lashes on because it wouldn't be complete without wonky lashes. All right, so to finish this entire look up, all I'm doing is adding some very frosty white eyeshadow, some glitter eyeshadow to the highest points of the wounded areas and adding a little bit more blood on the innermost parts of the wounds themselves. Adding some blood coming from my ears and my nose just to make this look a little bit more realistic looking. But after that, that's about it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up, of course. Again, I will have all of Gigi's social media down below as well as the link to her channel and her video for this collab. Again, thank you so much, Gigi, for this opportunity. Please go subscribe to her channel as well as mine, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much.